Hey there folks, welcome back. Yeah, another video on the subject. I keep telling myself I'm not going to do any more, but you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. And so today, just talking about some things that are more likely to kill you than the C virus. And this is not a humor thing. I'm not making fun of it. I'm not making fun of anybody. That's just how I worded the title, but I, I can't help but notice just how sucked in people are, not just in the United States, but everywhere, by the media scare. How terrified they've become over something that, for all intents and purposes, shouldn't be that big of a deal. And I'm calling it the C-Virus because ScrewTube doesn't like me saying the actual technical term, apparently. And every time I do, I get a, a yellow strike. I get a sanction. So I can't help but put it in the title, but I'm going to try to... Uh, restrain myself from actually saying the word if I can help it. So what prompted this video? Never mind the fact that people keep asking me to talk about this, but this morning, and did you get one of these? I'm in Georgia, and I got an emergency alert on my phone about the C virus, because Georgia is effectively shut down. You can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. Every The, the stores are all shut up. Um, but I got an emergency alert on my phone warning me that so far, apparently this month, there's been 555 confirmed positive for the virus in the state of Georgia, and there are 20, count them, 20 confirmed deaths. And then you get all these people who are like, oh my God, so many people are dying. Really? There's 10 and a half million people in the state of Georgia. How much does 20 add up in a month? 20, um, that's five a week. Let's just say the whole month is over and call that five. Five in a week. Five people a week on average, that being the case, dying from the C virus. Um, that's really an insignificant number. And again, not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I know that these people have family. I know there's people that care about them or that they care about. But, and I always say this, when I talk about stuff like this, I'm going to take the emotional factor out of it and just look at it logically. Something a lot of people don't like to do. And I get scolded by a lot of people in the comments for doing this. Hey, guess what? You know, if you turn your emotions off for a second and just really look at this, does it still feel the same? So five a week. Let's look at a few other Georgia statistics because according to shooting statistics in Georgia, there are an average of 31 people a week shot to death. 31 a week versus five from shootings. And that includes all types of shootings. Less than half of those are homicides. The majority of shooting deaths in the state of Georgia are going to be either self-defense or police shootings. Okay, not homicides, not actual criminal activity, but someone either defending themselves or the, the lion's share are actually police officer uh, involved shootings. Let's look at another one. According to the CDC, 27 people die in Georgia every week from suicide. 27 a week die of suicide. I don't hear an outrage about suicide rates. Here's another one. Here's one from the Georgia Highway Patrol. 31 people a week die in car accidents. Average. 31 a week die in, in vehicle accidents. How about drug overdoses? According to statistics, 29 and a half, <laughs> a half, 29 and a half people every week die in Georgia from a drug overdose. Or here's another one from the CDC. 77 people die every week from accidents in Georgia. Not like a car accident, I mean like a slip in the bathtub type accident every week. 77. Is there an outrage about accidents? Or am I a silly old bear? Silly old bear. Here's another good one for you. According to the American Lung Association, 89 people die every week in the state of Georgia from lung, from lung cancer due to smoking. 89 a week. 
are they going to stop cigarette sales? Because they shut down the entire state over 20 deaths from C virus. But go ahead and smoke. Smoke them if you got them. Here's a really good one for you. Apparently, 349 people die every week in Georgia from heart disease. 349 a week. And again, there's nothing funny about any of this. I'm not trying to be funny. But all of those statistics and dozens more, they just kind of float in the background, don't they? No one thinks about it. Nobody cares. It's part of everyday life. No big deal. People are going to die. Even, even the heart disease, 349 a week, when, again, you consider there's 10.5 million people in the state of Georgia, it doesn't even register. It's not even a blip on the radar. It's just part of life. The numbers, in truth, are really technically so small, they go completely unnoticed. And I'll remind you once again, Georgia has a population of 10.5 million people, and you're shutting down the entire state over 20 deaths in a month. It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense at all. 20 compared to the population, again, it just doesn't even register. It's not even a blip on the radar. And I'm looking at the numbers logically. Take the emotional factor out of it. Take the human factor out of it because that's what's being played on by the media and by the government, not just in the U.S., all over, everywhere. Everywhere, more than 80 countries. New Zealand just got on the bandwagon this morning and they're shutting their country down because they're scared of a virus that's barely touched them. I'm not saying that the virus isn't serious. Every virus is serious. Every virus is serious. Every virus has the potential to harm, disable, or kill someone. But it's not like what it's being described. It's not, it doesn't meet with this panic reaction. And people are so freaking paranoid, so selfish and paranoid. And they've watched way too many films. They've watched way too many zombie movies. They think if someone sneezes, 500 people are gonna drop dead. It isn't gonna happen. And this little statistic business, uh, you can get a lot of that information from the Department of Census and from the CDC itself. CDC has a big long list of statistical deaths by state. Whatever state you're in, Look at how many people have died in that state from C virus, and then look at the other statistics, and the uh, the gap is staggering. Point is, something else is going on here. Something else is going on here. Something else is being done that has encouraged the system to manipulate us. Either this is so much worse than what we've been told. This, the C virus is absolutely like life-threatening to the entire planet. It's a world-ending situation, and we have not been told. And they won't tell us. They're not going to tell us until there's nobody left. <laughs> or they're testing us to see just how much they can get away with. How much population control do these countries really have over us? How far can they push before somebody pushes back? Because it seems like their response is to continue to escalate. We have gone from, from like normal, or what you might consider normal on an everyday basis, to Orwellian dystopia in like two weeks. It, it, well, just your average day has turned into the National Guard operating food banks now. And libraries and schools being closed. And everywhere you go, it being enforced that you keep a minimum six foot distance from people. I mean, we already lost... Uh, our tribalism, and we already lost our nuclear family thanks to public school. Now they don't even want us making physical contact with each other. Because that paranoia is going to stick. When this blows over, that paranoia is going to stick. We're already um, losing our humanity 
by losing distance with each other. The internet has been great for that, hasn't it? Facebook and YouTube even, and Twitter and all these other all these other social networking things and people don't talk to each other anymore. You get 5,000 friends on Facebook and you don't know one person you actually talk to. Maybe not you, but most people. That's a whole other topic of discussion. I should probably talk about that, that whole social distancing thing, which would be another C-virus video, kind of, but it's important. It's important. We're being trained to avoid each other and to be afraid of each other and to be paranoid and to rely on the government for everything. And this is a great opportunity to test all of that. It's a great opportunity. And it's worked perfectly because there's no resistance. People are so paranoid and afraid, they haven't even thought to fight back. They haven't even thought to argue the point. What the hell? You know, this doesn't add up. This is technically no worse than the flu. And I've had people try to throw that in my face a few times. Oh, oh my God, you know, it's twice as bad as the flu. That means that instead of 2%, it's 3 to 4% mortality rate. If those numbers are correct, we have no idea. We really don't. All this information flying at us constantly in the media, and we don't know what's the truth and what isn't. That's scary. The reaction is more scary than the virus. If I had the C virus, I think I'd be fine. I've, I've had uh, the flu before. I've mentioned that. I've had the flu before. I've gotten over it. I'm a healthy person, so I don't have too much to worry about with that sort of a thing. Um, never had a flu shot. Don't intend to get one. You know, they might come up with uh, mandatory C-virus shots or mandatory, um, mandatory testing, things like that. That should make you nervous. I'm going to force you to get a shot. You don't know what the hell's in there. There's a lot that could be said, but again, I'm more concerned with the overall reaction than the virus itself. And, hey, I'll throw it back out to you. What do you think about all of that? Feel free to post your thoughts in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from. I know a lot of people, oh, you're not taking it seriously enough. I'm taking something else more seriously than the virus. Um, if you want to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. I need all the help I can get and I sure do appreciate it. Or, subsequently, if ScrewTube graces me with a video, you could just let the ad run. You don't have to pay attention to it for it to count. Please like, share, and subscribe and all that jazz. And what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.